Hey guys, Slipshot Flair here. What's going on? Just uh, coming back at you with some more Terraria. This is going to be episode 2 of the series we started. And I do want to start off right away. Get away from this slime. I don't want this slime to die, however. First thing I wanted to do. So, I was looking at a few things and I realized you could get the squire slime really early by throwing your copper short sword that you get when you first start the game at it rather than making a whole new one and now we have the squire slime he's gonna be a uh, a pet slime that we have and he's oh, I wanna sign him back there um, he can go in addition to the merchant we have so I don't know if they can go in and out of homes or not but currently the layout we have here is decent I don't have a huge amount of building blocks I do have another chest to throw down however um, we only got a little bit of stone I do want to very quickly make up a couple stone bricks change out that and I want to make some gray brick walls oh, we need one more crap there's the wall So now we got that nice cozy little fireplace there connecting textures with the furnace. Making that look all nice and neat. We also do have quite a fair few new amounts of mana even though we don't have a magical weapon. We do however have the blowgun which pretty early on as far as a ranged weapon isn't too bad. You have an extra torch here. I'm gonna throw down this extra torch over here, try and get some more light going. Before we really add more to this house, I do kind of want to get some more materials so we can make the house look a little nicer. I'm thinking about going for more so like a, uh, a four four bedroom house for the time being um, and we really didn't check out too far this way on the map so we're gonna start out today's episode by going this way and locating where that dungeon is get us a bunch of seeds on the way cuz it will come in handy to have ranged materials and this is what I was also hoping for was some more chests good thing that step stool kind of hurts us a little bit but it's not the end of the world I'd rather have it have the extra block placement and extra mining height there's the rope at least now we have a recall potion too I mean that's saying a lot that we're not gonna die and I'm gonna have to use it but I would much rather um, you know just say like hey we have a recall potion just in case we need to use it than to bet on dying wild get oh vine rope vine rope will be good As you can
can see already. This blowgun does come in handy. I'm not the best with ranged weapons, but just having that ability to start attacking them so much earlier is great. Now we are out of torches, but we do have wood and gel. And I mean, we do have quite a fair few glow sticks, but I'm kind of partial to torches because they don't disappear on you. And I'm also someone who likes to know where I've been on the map. Got another chest. We did get an aglet, which is going to be good. That extra movement speed I will take any day of the week. As we have yet to find a gold chest with Hermes boots or anything along those lines. Hmm. Takes us right over to that minecart we found. Good to know. So we have another form of access over here. aren't you? There we go. That is a... There we go. Right up that. This one we should not need a rope for. rope here too just one block I know we can use the step stool but in the future if we ever take the step stool off I would like to have the ability to uh, not need it in order to get up and down places alrighty we got the snow biome and we have a wood chest here with another bloke pipe. Take all of those guys, and we'll just keep going. Oh, it'd be nice if I could see in there. Can't really see to see if there's a chest. light it up anyway. So places like that probably should have put some rope in before jumping down. Because um, now we're going to have to pretty much either bridge up there or we're going to have to um, use the recall potion. Got another ice cave. So the underground um, snow biome isn't too bad. Um, get a pair of ice skates would definitely go a long ways towards eventually getting Terra Spark boots, I believe. I don't have a super duper high amount of hours in this game. I only really know the basics. Um, crafting recipes are kind of beyond me of what you need in order to make what happen but a starting idea is better than nothing so there's the corruption okay healing potions, we got more climbing claws, more copper, calming potion. I do not 
not know what a calming potion does. We're going to take that for going through the corruption for the first time. Probably not the best used um, potion. But... Ah, uh, this is not going to end well for me. Okay, one away. Try and collect some of this ebon wood. You just came out of the tree. Yep. First death of the episode. I need someone to count how many deaths we have in the series. I really do. When someone starts counting, I'll, I'll be happy because, you know, just helps out a bit to know exactly how many. Alright, so we got them outside. But we did get a little bit of some stuff. Um, nothing really over the top useful. I mean, making a bow would probably be a great idea. Now, iron bow does 8 damage. Blowpipe does 9 Average speed, no knockback. Fast speed, weak knockback. Hmm. Now, I'm almost wondering. I still haven't crafted any armor. Um, that's definitely going to go a long ways. I mean, we'll go for the platinum bow. And of course, it's lazy. That does not help. Could go for copper armor. Or if we go for more iron here. We don't even have enough iron to start going for iron tool or iron armor. Okay, so we'll make do with what we have for now. We'll deposit this stuff. Wait, we have 33 bars of iron. Should be more than enough to at least get some of the armor started. Oh, not more than enough. We can get an iron chest plate. All right, but we have a lot of wooden arrows which we can in fact craft into flaming arrows. I'm going to use I'm going to make the frost burn cuz I don't really care as much about those torches nearly as much as I do the regular ones cuz we already have a slight lack of them. I'm also going to drop down some rope there. Let's test this guy out. Definitely a good, good upgrade there. Not getting overrun right away. Helping out a lot. Actually able to go out at night time. Actually able to hold my own against the uh, armed zombies. The lazy debuff kind of sucks because we're not able to shoot as fast, but using that fire effect, if we light them on fire, we get that extra DPS, so I'll count that as at least a slight win. Come on, there we go. The only problem is... We've gone through about RE90 arrows. 
just in a very short amount of time. Where'd you come from? Were you in a tree? Oh, it's a jungle bat. We're right next to the jungle. Two death steps episode. So we're really lacking in the money sense now. That's okay though. That is okay. As long as I can get some more materials here. Maybe we'll start making some uh, prep on the base work. Trees planted up. Got a name and eye on the other side of the hill. It's nice being able to hold my own a little bit now, like with weapons wise. So, that's always a good thing. Piggy bank wouldn't be a horrible idea to invest in if we had more silver. Can we s like the little demon eye in the background there? Never noticed that really. Should probably also invest in a bug net at some point coming up here. These guys are gonna hate me though when I start breaking down the house. But current plans are going to be for the house. We're going to probably raise up the house a level. Um, and make it all even on top of the ground. Put a nice little basement down inside. Um, under the fireplace, obviously. So, luckily, we have enough chests to move our stuff outside. There. Loot all. We'll, we'll start. We'll start getting the housework done. Can't hurt. Oh yeah, we have... I know, you're probably not going to be happy with me. Get the wood. Get the dirt. Get the stone. And we'll start block swapping some of this stuff. some trees growing too which is good mm. of course I messed up there so I'm gonna start doing some of the work on the house and um, I'm gonna, gonna try time-lapsing it so we can get all that done and uh, 
hopefully I'll see you guys uh, in a minute here once the house is either finished up or close to or I have anything to kick in. See you in a few minutes. Alrighty, and that's where we're going to be ending the time lapse, right there. Um, as far as things go, I mean, I'd like to say this house is a slight improvement from what we once had. Um, don't have much other... Um, this is going to allow us to get a couple more um, NPCs that we're going to need. I'm just glad we had enough wood and we had enough you know, resources, at least in retrospect. I mean, I did have to go out and collect a little bit more stone, um, as you probably saw during that whole um, thing. We also don't have windows in yet, um, 
but you know currently I mean we could even technically put an NPC up here I think I am gonna drop a torch there and a torch there however let's check housing housing is suitable 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 Missing a table and chair, missing table and chair, too small. Okay. So, as far as it goes, this is going to allow us to get three more NPCs. Usually they can show up when morning comes. So, as long as we're getting the end, you know, because I think since we used a life crystal, a nurse can spawn. Um, we haven't found a gun in a chest, so I don't think we can get the arms dealer. But as far as basic stuff, I th think that's what we got going on. Yep, nurse arrived. Um, and then the basement is just going to go down from here. Uh, as we get more stone, that'll get done. And other than that, that's looking pretty good for the start of the house. I think we're just about one more mana crystal, and I think we're maxed out on mana of what we can get. So we have a little bit of ammo left for the bow. Of course, we're going to get a purple slime here. Gel is super appreciated, though, because more torches, more flaming arrows, and I guess early game here, these flaming arrows are really doing some decent work. How did we get around this last time? So we do have some crazier uh, enemies. Demolitionist, okay, because we got a bomb. Slayed. Um, and I still do have those torches on me. They're gonna have to go away for a second. Damn it, wasn't able to switch fast enough. That is okay though. Probably gonna have to head back down in the mines, if anything. I mean, I'm gonna make some jump cuts here, and uh, we'll pick back up if there's anything interesting going on. Alrighty, hey guys, picking it back up here. Um, I know this is a lot of stuff getting cut out of episodes, but mostly just want to make some progress and not have every little bit on here. We ended up getting enough platinum, and we still have a little bit left over too. Um, to make some armor, which is good. We finally have a decent amount of defense. Plus we have plus five defense from the stool and the climbing claws. We also ended up finding a magic mirror and some potato chips and stuff like that. We still have the iron, ar ar iron armor. Um, we're gonna keep the magic mirror. 
Um, I also made a tungsten axe because I, just, you know, we're gonna need some wood soon, and I got, you know, tired of having super slow tools constantly. Most of the trees that we grew here fully grew, so we can get up all that wood we've been needing. We got another leaf wand. This is what number three. Oh. Yeah, num number three leaf wand. Um, we did end up getting some more stone. I tried to, you know, not really get as much. I tried to get it mostly what we could. We got another set of climbing claws. Some more chests. We did go into the underground over here. Mostly explored over here. Got a little bit deeper down into here. Didn't find any life crystals, though. I was really hoping for at least another life crystal, but mostly just having a platinum pick, tungsten axe, armor, and uh, still have the demonic and the lazy platinum bow. We can make another platinum bow. Don't really know how I feel about it, though. And I ended up making this boomerang during the um, early part of the time lapse and it's been putting in some good work you know we've got a lot more gel um, and stuff like that but still have the emerald hook still running with the iron broadsword because that's been doing decent enough as is and uh haven't had any new NPCs move in, so I don't think we met the criteria. Okay, I can't heal. I'm guessing the merchant isn't the happiest anymore. No, he's still he's still full happiness, which is good. We only have 42 silver coins. So we're kind of lacking in that department. But. I was going to use the ebon wood that we were getting before we died out that way. To make a bunch of these. We're going to start a chest monster here because... Why not? So we're gonna take the magic mirror, rope, building blocks, potions, iron skin potion, night owl potion. Oh, it says right click. There we go. Okay, so that just gave us seeds. Oh. I gotta lock this stuff in my inventory, I feel like. Uh, don't need the recall potions anymore, because we got the magic mirror. I was hoping for freaking Hermes boots. As good as a magic mirror is, I was really hoping for Hermes boots. Because that faster run speed is just going to help so much. And we'll take a mining potion, just in case we get to mining. I didn't realize we had jars. End up putting that guy there, just in case. And time to set off. The aglet makes a world of a difference in itself. And we have higher melee speed, which is good. And like I said, the boomerang's been doing a, a pretty decent job at clearing enemies because it's got the godly enchantment, so the knockback plus the damage just makes it really worthwhile. And being melee at a range, can't go wrong. Let's get across. 
across the ice. Fine. Yeah, I looted that chest. See, I know I should have done that in the beginning. Oh, slow debuff. But like I said, the, the boomerang's been doing pretty decent against these ice slimes, which when we first came to this area were a little bit more dangerous to us. Then again, most underground things were very dangerous to us as well. And I also forgot early on, I have a hook. Um, keep forgetting to click E to use the hook, but... If we time it right, a lot of the times we can get a decent speed boost just by hooking and unhooking. Oh, you got lucky there, slime. You got lucky. So I guess ice slimes and blue slimes are very similar in the amount of damage they take. Died to the Eater of Worlds. Uh. Or Eater of Souls, not the Eater of Worlds. That's the boss. Aiming these bows is one of the hardest things. Sometimes it's like I get it right on. Other times I'm sitting here for quite a while trying to learn how to shoot the bow properly. So they still do a bunch of damage. Even with our higher defense now. skin potion as well. there. I'm not going to be as lucky here, probably. Come on, knock back. Knew it. Knew we weren't going to get too lucky there. But, that's mostly because we're dealing with a 
large amounts of enemies. We're still a little underpowered as far as health goes. <sighs> Probably in between episodes, I'm going to try and find one or two life crystals if I can. Just to boost our arsenal a little bit. Because um, every little bit does help. Um, and really, I think the first boss we're going to have to go up against here isn't going to be the Eye of Cthulhu, but it's probably going to be the King Slime. Um, we're going to need to make a crown. I know we're going to need that. Um, I don't know how one makes a crown. Um, oh, we can spread the corruption. Don't really want to do that. What does leather allow us to do? Crafting. Where? Leather. Archaeologist stuff. Nothing. Um. So to make that, we need 20 slime and a gold crown. We need to do the platinum crown. Okay. Is that all the gems we have? That kind of sucks. Thought we had more gems than that. Platinum. Got a little bit extra slime. Crafting. This guy comes in handy early on. I'll tell you that. So I still haven't come across the flinks. Diamond staff. Helmet. Platinum crown. Five and a ruby. Don't think. I doubt we have a ruby. Uh, that kind of sucks. So, I'm going to spend the rest of the, the night here trying to get a ruby. Um, and then when I get back on for next episode, next episode will be us fighting the King Slime, I, I hope. So, I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera to get this ruby and to try and get the, you know, maybe one or two more life crystals. And, um, that should hopefully put us in the right direction as far as at least a start. That's Amethyst. It's Cobwebs. All right, well, we're going to cut it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out. Um, I am small. I am, you know, hoping to grow a community, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this content. Let me know what you liked, uh, what you didn't like, if there's anything I can improve upon. Um, you know, also let me know any tips or tricks that you guys have to maybe make things a little easier some guides maybe a farm or something to build and we'll go from there so thank you very much have a good one